Hey there, crazy crafters. Welcome to Technique of the Week with Crazy Creations. I'm so excited to be here crafting with you today. We have a really fun project in store. And if you we've never met before, my name is Jackie. I'm one of the crazy ladies here at Crazy Creations. And today we also have a couple of our crazy crew members in the comments. So make sure you say hi to Eric and Angie in the comment section today. So we are gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you, a really fun technique all about glitter because you can never have too much bling on a card, right? If you agree with me, let me know in the comments section. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do this dazzling technique and then stay tuned because at the end of our video, we like to have a little deal to celebrate technique of the week on Wednesdays. So welcome aboard. We're gonna have such a fun time today. Just sit back, relax, and don't be shy in those comments. So the first thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to show you the finished card. So this is the finished card. The technique for today is how to create a plaid glitter background. Isn't that so gorgeous with all those shimmering glitters? Now this is done with our microfine glitter here at Crazy Creations. And I just created a plaid using score tape and it's a really simple technique, but it, it looks stunning. And then to add even more glitter, we're coloring on our microfine glitter paper right over here to make a gorgeous poinsettia. So um, by the way, let me know if you say poinsettia or poinsettia because I've heard it both ways and I tend to use both. So I might say poinsettia or I might say poinsettia in this video. But I'm gonna show you how to do this plaid glitter technique right here. And I'm gonna show you how to create this gorgeous deep red and burgundy shading on that poinsettia. So let's go ahead and get started. What do you say? So I'm gonna put this up here so we can kind of peek at it while we're creating this glitter plaid technique. And the first thing we're gonna need is some white cardstock. So this is a staple for every crafter. And this size right here is five and a quarter by four. So it's a little smaller than an A2 size because we're gonna have a red mat behind it. So it's gonna look like this. And I might need to zoom out just a little bit. There we go. So that's why I cut it just a tad bit smaller. So I'm gonna put that away because I wanna create this first. I'm gonna set this down and we're gonna start using our score tape in three different sizes. So let me get those. We have the half inch score tape, the quarter inch right here in the middle, and then the eighth inch score tape. Score tape is a double-sided adhesive and it comes in these rolls you get 27 yards on each roll, and you can see how much I really love that quarter inch size. If you're a fan of score tape, what's your favorite size? I think the most popular is the quarter inch and the eighth inch, but it's just really fabulous adhesive because it's so super sticky. So I'm gonna start with my biggest size. This is the half inch. And the other thing I love about score tape is you can actually tear it with your fingers. So I kind of just eyeball it and I'm gonna stick it down on my white cardstock, just like that. So I'm creating lines. Now, if you like your lines to be perfectly straight, which I'm not doing, I'm not really concerned about that right now, but if you like your lines straight, you could always create score lines on the white cardstock before you start doing the step because that way you'll have a little guide. That is just a tip, but I like to just go for it. So I've stuck that down. Now I'm gonna to try to lift this up and we're gonna flip it over. I've got my scissors and I'm just trimming the edges here so it's flush with the cardstock. And one more, okay. So here we have the score tape on the cardstock. And now I'm gonna peel these off all at the same time because I'm gonna glitter these all the same color. So just grab the little paper release. And now we can see that tape 
is really sticky right there and I always try not to touch it. I don't want to leave any fingerprints on there. So I'm going to take my little tidy tray now. And this isn't really necessary. Sometimes I just use a piece of white typing paper, a coffee filter, just something to contain all the mess. And I'm going to use, this is our microfine glitter in fire red. And I'm going to sprinkle it. So you can either just go for it and pour it on, or if you have the little glitter spoon, this is the perfect time to use the glitter spoon. I love this little glitter spoon. It's so cute. Okay. So I just kind of sprinkled it on, then I'm going to pick this up and make sure it covers all of the tape, just like this. And now we're going to burnish. So you can see that our glitter is a little bit dull right now. What I'm going to do is take my finger and brush that glitter with my finger to make it nice and sparkly. And this is a technique called burnishing. So notice how I'm kind of going from the middle to the edge of that tape because I don't want to accidentally take any tape off of the edge of my paper. So always work your finger from the inside to the outside. All right, and now what I'm going to do to clean this up just a little bit is use a Swiffer cloth. This is a Swiffer dry cloth. This is absolutely an essential if you work with glitter. And we're just gonna clean this up a little bit so we don't have any loose glitter on there. Look, clean, perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and do our next color. I'm gonna rotate my paper this time. And we're gonna do the quarter inch tape across. So we're going, it is, vertical now. So that is portrait style, but our tape is going to go horizontally. So there's one. There is number two. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not being exact at all. This is just such a fun and um, relaxing technique if you don't want to be too picky about it. Because all we're doing is putting down tape trimming the ends, peeling it up, and glittering. So really, little thinking, and that makes it relaxing. So I'm turning my paper over and cutting these little tails. And I apologize, I haven't read any comments yet, but I know that Eric and Angie are answering for me. Right there, trimming, and I can just pick them off of my scissors. And here we go. So now I'm going to peel these ones. You want to be kind of careful that you don't accidentally peel the tape off. We just want the release paper to peel right off to expose the adhesive so that we can stick our glitter on there. All right, so I'm a messy crafter here and I didn't clean up my red glitter tray. So I'm gonna go over to my cardstock now and use that instead of the tray, the tidy tray. And we are gonna do basil. So this is our basil glitter, microfine. And if you've ever used the Crazy Creations glitter, you know that it feels like velvet. It is so smooth. So this is the very same glitter that we use to make our microfine glitter paper. Oops. All right, so I'm just gonna shimmy that down the paper, cover all that adhesive. And you might be wondering if that green is gonna get on the red. And the answer is no. Because we went ahead and we burnished the red glitter before putting on the green, the colors won't mix. So that's a really nice feature about this technique. Alrighty, I guess I better clean up my green glitter really quickly. And we're gonna go ahead and burnish these um, stripes, remember? 
always go from the inside to the outside and wow that burnishing really makes it a lot more sparkly can you really have too much sparkle I don't think so all right now we're gonna clean with our dry Swiffer cloth this is an optional step, but I just like it to be nice and clean, just like that. So you can see we're making our way to become this. So we have two more colors to go. So next I'm going to do the garnet. So this is garnet right here. It's a beautiful, like um, kind of a reddish, pinkish, brownish color. Very dark, but gorgeous. So we are gonna go to the quarter inch again, my favorite. And I'm gonna put this anywhere that suits my fancy. So the cool thing is, this is creating overlapping lines between each color that we do to create that plaid pattern. So we're going to do three with the garnet and notice how I always like to press my score tape down I don't want it to accidentally peel up when I go to peel off the release paper does anybody have a stash of glitter in their crafting room and you've wondered what am I gonna do with all this stuff or maybe you don't have any glitter and you have been looking for the perfect glitter to add to your craft stash. The Microfine Glitter from Crazy Creations is velvety smooth and it's just such a great quality glitter. It doesn't even shed after you burnish it. So you'll notice nothing's coming off. All right, so we're back to peeling. So satisfying when you can just peel off a whole strip of that paper. There we go. And now we're going to do the garnet, like I said, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a jewel tone. And we're gonna sprinkle out over the adhesive. And I just wanna make sure I get coverage on all of the sticky. Yes, I go crazy with my glitter, but that's okay because we're called crazy creations, so we got to be a little crazy. We all have a little bit of crazy in us. So I've covered my tape. I'm going to clean up my garnet glitter by pouring it back inside the jar. And we're really not using very much glitter whenever we put it on the tape. We're reusing a lot of it, so I'm always pouring it back into the jar, and you'll notice we're barely using any. So back to rubbing or burnishing. Wow, what a difference. So go from the inside, work your way out. And we have one more color to do until we see the final reveal. So I'm just gonna clean up with my Swiffer dry cloth. This acts as a glitter magnet, believe it or not. All right. So the last color we're gonna be using on this project today is called Sand. So it's a really light gold and it's just perfect for Christmas. So I am gonna go the same direction as the green. Now for the last um, color, I'm actually using a combination of the eighth inch score tape and the half inch score tape. So I'm gonna mix it up because I wanted to see a lot of that gold on there. There's that one. So I'm just kind of pulling off some tape, ripping it, placing it down and rubbing it. And then I'm gonna add some of my eighth inch score tape. Now this stuff is really skinny, but it just adds a lot of um, variety to the stripes, the, the size of the stripes. Add a few of these. It 
looks kind of funky on my table, <laughs> but it's going to come out beautiful. It looks funky because I've got all these different sizes on the edge here. All right, so we're going to pull this up, flip it over, and this is our last color. So we've used four, or we're using four different colors of glitter. We used um, fire red, basil, garnet, and this is called sand that we're gonna use next. So I'm just gonna cut those. Trim, trim, trim. Okay, there we go. And now we get to peel all of those off. So this would look great with a lot of different color combinations. If you have any ideas for color combinations in this technique, please put them in the comment section. You could do like a blue Christmas with um, our royal blue, ice blue, and silver. That would look gorgeous. You could do like a, a modern Christmas with the pink, blue, and silver. Okay. So all of my... Strips have been peeled, so this is sticky on here. And now we're gonna do that sand glitter right here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this over the entire thing. When you're working with glitter, make sure you're not near a fan. That could be a disaster. We don't have any fans in here, but the glitter is kind of just floating onto the paper. All right, so I covered all of the adhesive that was exposed. I'm gonna clean up my sand colored glitter. Put that to the side. And now it's time for us to do some burnishing. So we're gonna burnish with our finger. Remember, starting in the middle. I love the sand glitter because it looks very um, kind of like a mirror when you burnish. So sparkly. Do you have a favorite colored glitter? Let me know in the comment section if you have an absolute favorite. I think I saw purple in the comment section, but I just like to know what's your favorite color. We actually have 24 different colors of this microfine glitter on the website. Okay, so now the last thing to do is take our um, little Swiffer dry cloth and clean it up. I'm just wiping it, getting all the loose glitter off. It works really well to get the glitter off of your table surface and voila. Look how beautiful this looks. So this was such an easy technique. All it was was different sizes of double-sided adhesive called score tape and the Crazy Creations Microfine Glitter and I'm even gonna do a little bit of coloring with you today. So first, I'd just like to put this on our background paper, that red I showed you. So I'm gonna flip it over and add some adhesive. Gotta eyeball it, get it perfectly straight. There we go. So now you can see we have our background done and now we need to color our focal image. So in this card, it's a poinsettia. So we're gonna be using the Crazy Creations outline sticker called poinsettia, number 3060. And for this technique, we will need the Cool Highlights Crazy Creations Microfine Glitter Paper. Now, like I was saying earlier, this is the same glitter that we used in the jar but this is in glitter paper form. So we do need to burnish or rub with our fingers to make it velvety smooth. Oh, I love that comment. I got to read one. Yay, please send me all the glitters. <laughs> you can never have too much glitter. And this glitter is my favorite because you can rub it once and then the next time you touch it, it does not come off. So I know the guys would really appreciate that when you give them a card with glitter on it. I know they don't like it when the glitter sheds. All right, so I went ahead and I burnished 
And now I'm going to take my outline sticker, peel it off the sheet, position it on the glitter paper, and I'll just color one holly today, one holly leaf. But you can see I actually used three on the card. I like to press and then rub because this is going to seal that sticker down really, really well. And our stickers will stick to almost any surface, so you're not limited to just our glitter paper, but it's definitely my favorite medium to use. All right, perfect. So how about I zoom in just a little bit so we can focus on that coloring. So looking at my coloring here, I use some really deep colors to create that gorgeous poinsettia flower. And poinsettias come in all different colors, I've noticed. But when I think of them, I think of like a burgundy color, burgundy and red. So that's what I decided to color with. And it's actually with four colors. So the darkest color was brown, E18. Then I used some RV17 for pink, R17 for red, and I needed a light color to go with it, so R03. Now these are our right art markers. Um, they are alcohol based, and that's why they're going to blend so nicely when I show you this technique. So I like to start with dark and make my way to light. So I'm going to start with that brown E18 and use the brush tip. So I'm putting that brown at the base of the petal. Now something I like to do with flowers is I don't like to go in a straight line. I like to give a little variation because it just, it makes it seem more like a real flower. And then I'm going to use some of that RV17, which is pink. And I'm going to go right up to where that brown line stopped and I'm going to drag the brown out just a little bit with my pink marker. Now I'm only coloring three petals at a time because they're kind of large petals and I don't want my ink to dry before I have a chance to blend it. Next I am going in with the R17. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to that pink line and drag. And you can kind of blend a little bit of that brown with the pink up there. That pink is just my favorite with the red. It just adds a lot of brightness to it. And the brown makes it look dark like a shadow. And then I'm going to take my R03, there we go, and I'm going to blend from the red to the edge of the petal. So here we can see we've created a very dark um, shadow on the inside here and a very light color on the outside of the petal. And it gives you that illusion that it's a 3D image with a highlight and a shadow. But that was so easy. Let's do it again. So remember, always dark to light. So brown was our dark. And this is our darkest brown, E18. And this is using the 24 set of Right Art alcohol markers. And then I'm going to do the pink. So brown to pink. And it's okay if it's not even. And remember, I'm pulling the color out to the edge. I'm not going opposite. I'm only going one way. And then red. So when you're coloring your Christmas cards, you're not limited to just two colors per image. You can do multiple colors per image and you can incorporate some not so traditional Christmas colors like the pink. All right. 
The other thing I like about these stickers is I'm coloring over that black line in the middle and you can't even tell. Because it's a black sticker, um, you can color over it and you, it won't even show. So I'm just going to do a tiny bit of pink on there. Going to red. And then, there we go. Um, for the center of the poinsettia, I did a light green, YG00. It's like a light olive green. And this is the time when I like to use the fine tip of the marker. I didn't do a ton of blending on here, if I did any at all. I might have added a dot of the YG29, but this is so much easier just going like that. And then for the holly leaf, it's just two colors, YG29 and YG00. And it's dark to light again. Notice how I'm kind of, um, I'm not going in that straight line across. I'm kind of putting dark in little areas. And then I'm gonna blend with the YG00 just pulling those dark colors into the center of the leaf to give you that blended look. I think that looks so beautiful. And then after you're done coloring, all you do is cut it out with scissors. And um, I used some foam dots to put this poinsettia on the card. So I'll kind of show you that on the side, just like that. So it has a little bit of a three dimension on there. And I think it's just, it looks simple because of the card composition is very simple, but look at all that bling, look at all that glitter. It's just so fun. And wait until you see what I did on the inside of the card. So I brought some of that glitter to the inside of the card with a quarter inch um, strip of score tape with the red and the one eighth inch strip of score tape with the gold. And then I added the sentiment on the inside of the card because I didn't want to um, take away from all of the glitter on here and I knew I needed a sentiment, but I decided to put it on the inside of the card. And again, this is a Crazy Creation sticker. It is this one right here. Now it's not available on the website, but it is in the Technique bundle. So if you love this technique, and I'm hoping you did, um, if you did, by the way, please give us a heart or a thumbs up on the video. We have a Technique bundle on the Crazy Creations website if you'd like to try this at home. So I'm gonna show you what you get in the bundle. What you get is the Poinsettia outline sticker. So there's three on a sheet and it comes with the holly leaves. You get the um, sentiment sticker. Now this has all different Christmas sayings on it. So Happy Christmas, um, Merry Christmas, Season's greeting, so there's a nice variety on here. Again, this one is not online for individual purchase. You get a pack of six by six glitter paper, the microfine glitter paper to color on. It has two sheets of cool highlights in here. You get three pre-scored cards. One, two, three. Three envelopes so that you can send them when you're ready. And you get a sheet of red cardstock for the background of the card. If you cut this into quarters, it'll be the perfect size. You get a sheet of white cardstock. And excuse my messy table. You can, I'm a messy crafter. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not alone on that. But you get the red cardstock, the white eight and a half by 11 cardstock to do your glitter um, strips on here, your glitter plaid. And you get an idea sheet on how to cut and um, the picture of the card and just the basic technique. So the basic bundle is $9.99, which in my opinion is a steal. So $9.99 for all these pieces that I just showed you. But if you would like the glitter and you would like the score tape, you can add those on to your bundle. So these are half ounce jars of glitter and they will cover a lot of sticky tape. Um, so you get a lot in here, they're $4.99 a bottle. So when you add the glitter colors to your Technique bundle, um, it just makes the price go up by the amount of the item. So um, you can order the glitter with it. Remember we used Fire Red 
basil, sand, and garnet. Or you can order your own colors. And um, then you can also order the score tape in the bundle. So remember, we used three sizes, half inch, quarter inch, and one eighth inch. And by the way, I just wanted to mention that my favorite way to store the score tape is on the score tape stacker. So if you have a lot of um, score tape hanging around and you want to organize it, this can sit right on your desk. And you can even put your scissors in here. And it's just really nice to have everything organized on your tabletop for when you're crafting. And they just slide right on top like that. So remember, it is on the website for $9.99. That's the basic bundle. And then you can add on all of these options. And I think the most you can spend on the bundle is $43. So that $9.99 price is amazing. And I hope you grab this kit before it runs out because our Technique of the Week um, kits are limited quantity. So make sure you head over to crazycreations.us. We'll put a link in the comment section below to make it easy for you to find all of these supplies. Don't forget about that glitter spoon too. I thought that was so fun to use. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna pop back up. There I am. Thank you for joining me today for Technique of the Week. I had so much fun crafting with you. And I really appreciate you tuning in every Wednesday at 1 p.m. for our live video. Remember, replay is always available. We're here to answer any questions you have. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. And um, just to recap, this kit was called the um, Glitter Plaid Technique Bundle on the website, and it's in the Technique of the Week section. Thank you for watching. Have a crafty day, and we'll see you on Friday for Live Friday with Crazy Creations.